I'm savouring nothing. The only thing I'm savouring is smashing Deontay Wilder's teeth in. That's it. That bald headed fella at the side here, he knows you're not ready. Whoever he is, all bald head there. <laughs> and I think you've got more chance of going a full head of hair back than bald head. <laughs> than you have him beating me. <laughs> I believe he's a lemon and I'm going to squeeze him nice and hard. So, so why, so, so, uh, so why, so why it took so Listen, long? Listen, I'm going to make lemonade so out of this take so long? Why, you, why it took so long? What's up, Fight Fans? It's your man 3K The Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. <laughs> you know what it is. All right, so Tyson Fury, new trainer, Sugar Hill Stewart, is saying that a knockout of Deontay Wilder is a part of the rematch plan. Sugar Hill Stewart, the new head trainer of the heavyweight Tyson Fury, is confident that his man will overcome the WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder in their anticipated rematch on February 22nd. The two boxers fought to a controversial 12-round split draw in December of 2018. Boxing scenes reported earlier this week that Fury was parting ways with Ben Davidson, who trained the Gypsy King for his last five fights. Davidson began training Fury when the boxer began his comeback. After more than a two-year layoff, he replaced Fury. <clears throat> Excuse me, he replaced Fury's uncle, Peter Fury. It wasn't long before Fury announced that Sugar Hill Stewart of the Crunk Gym was his new trainer. Stewart is the nephew of the late Hall of Fame trainer Emmanuel Stewart, who trained Lennox Lewis, Vladimir their Klitschko, doing their prime runs. Some believe Fury is making a big mistake by hiring a new head trainer. With only two months to go until the rematch, but Stewart is putting together a plan to take Wilder down. It's the crunk style, so it's not hard to figure out what Emmanuel Stewart liked most. If you know that answer, you know the plan. Tyson spoke about it. It's so simple. You can miss it, Stewart told Sky. Both guys are big punchers, but Wilder is bigger. He's a beast of a puncher, but one punch changes the fight, and this is why the heavyweights are the big daddies of them all. A knockout. It's always a plan. Excuse me, it's always the plan. But why think anything less? He always wanted a trainer who was technical. He wants to be very technical. We will work on his technique. These are the characteristics he was looking for when he called me. And I fit the description. It's all happened so fast. Initially, he spoke to me about coming into camp. Then I heard, excuse me, then I heard that Ben Davidson is gone and that I'm the head trainer. What do you want? How you feeling today? What? I said, how you feeling? What are you, a doctor or something? Well, you got problems today? Never mind my problem. What's your problem? My problem is I've been talking to your man Mike. I want to know how come I've been put out of my lock. Because Dipper needed it. Dipper's a contender. He's a climber. Do you know what you are? What? A tomato. Me. Yeah, let's face it. I run a business here, not a goddamn soup kitchen. Now, fight fans, I, I'm thinking about changing my name to, uh, to Mystic Two Hands or something like that because it seems like, you know, I kind of see these things before they're happening. I mean, you know, if you if you watch boxing, man, it only makes sense, man. You could just see what was going on here when he joined the Crunk Gym. I mean, look at Tyson Fury's style. Look at Vladimir Klitschko's style. You could look at uh, Lennox Lewis style. Um, and you could already see uh, what direction Tyson Fury was going in when he chose Crunk. I mean, Tyson Fury wants to put a little bit more pop on the end of the punches now that he's a lot more, he's a lot leaner, now that he's got a little bit more strength, now he's got a little bit more quickness, um, you know, he's going to exercise better footwork, they're going to focus on all of these techniques, and he's going to focus on the ability um, of getting Deontay Wilder out of the ring by knockout. I don't think when he went to Crunk, he came there playing around. I think he had one goal in mind to, to, uh, for intense training and to focus on techniques so he could be more efficient in getting Deontay Wilder out of there. We got a Tyson Fury that was only two tomato cans in when he fought Deontay Wilder last time when he took on that match and he still shined and he still won the match even with the two knockdowns. Outside of that, Fury won all of the rounds except um, except one outside of the two knockdown rounds, I should say. So, joining in Crunk Gym, I should tell you guys, I know him um, changing the trainer at this late in the tenure, considering that the fight is ready to come up in February, doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, because he already has a skill set that was developed 
in this gym, in their style, in that crunk system, and he's been there, he's used to it. So him going back to that and being a student of the game, as I told you guys in the video yesterday, it only go, it only is tailor made to the success, the style, the height, the range of Tyson Fury. So Deontay Wilder is in huge trouble this fight because hey, this isn't the cokehead guy that only fought two uh, tomato cans that came off the couch and beat you. This is the guy that is going underneath the tutelage of very, very seasoned coaches that have got game from one of the best coaches of all time, an all-time great, um, and Emmanuel Stewart. So, for Tyson Fury to go back there and to pick up these lessons, you know, Tyson Fury has been in America a long time, and he has been making his rounds, and he's been training with various trainers, getting susceptible to so many styles and honing his technique. So I feel as though the time that was laid off for Tyson Fury to take advantage of these things only makes it more of a problem for Deontay Wilder. And as I tell you guys time and time again, as long as Tyson Fury isn't sloppy, as long as Tyson Fury is truly focused, which I believe that he is, considering now he's in prime condition. Deontay Wilder's not going to be able to get that shot off. Tyson Fury's going to stay tall, he's going to stay rangy, he's going to exercise his technique. Because the beauty about Tyson Fury is, he has fast hands, he can put together combinations, but the even better part is, he has even faster feet. So Tyson Fury has a lot of advantages working against him, against Deontay Wilder. So fight fans, I'm not asking you to hang on to every word that I'm speaking. I'm not asking you to hang on to any words that I'm speaking. But if you're going to take in consideration what I'm saying while I'm here, um, it's way less of a learning curve than you think. And like I said, it wasn't like him and Ben Davidson had this chemistry. It wasn't like him and Ben Davidson worked on fights and they worked on certain techniques that could build Tyson Fury up. I mean, look at what Tyson Fury was fighting when he was with Ben Davidson. Now, Tyson Fury already knows what he got himself into when he fought Deontay Wilder the first time, so he knows the tendencies, he knows what to look forward to, he knows Deontay Wilder's intangible as well as he knows his own intangibles even better. So I'm very sure that Tyson Fury and I'm very sure that Javon Sugar Hill Stewart are very confident in what they can bring to the table and what they can do to Deontay Wilder, and I'm telling you, I know exactly what they're going for doing to Deontay Wilder, extreme punishment and I think that Tyson Fury can truly execute that and get a walk away with a very strong win. Well fight fans I can I can't tell you enough that I do think that Tyson Fury has a lot to gain going to Crunk Gym and I think that you know him and Sugar Hill Stewart have one goal in mind that is doing serious damage to uh, Deontay Wilder and that is walking away with that WBC belt and I seriously believe that they can knock him out and they can do it in spectacular fashion. Well, that's all I got for you guys. It costs you nothing to pay a nigga no mind. Respect, though.